and these things. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first video you're seeing, my name is Karina, and today we're going to be doing this like really pretty frosty, wintry, like blue look today. You know when you have like a look in mind, but you really don't know what you're gonna do or how you're gonna do it? I literally just like grabbed four palettes that just so happened to be limited edition. But three of these you can still get, and I'll go ahead and mention that later on in the video. With any of my looks, if you do want to recreate them, you can just look into your own collection, do what you have, do your own interpretation of the look, in case you don't have the exact product that I'm using. Or if you're just looking for entertainment, this is not a look that you would ever do. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is a full face of a drugstore, so I wanted to do a more holiday look with just drugstore items. And I always try to include mostly drugstore. I think I did, yeah, I did cheat on one item. Other than that one item, which is in my brows, which I feel like brow products are very personal to everybody. Uh, everybody likes different kinds of brow products, so you can just use your your loved products. Besides that one brow product, everything on my face is drugstore. I love the way this looking out. And if you want to go ahead and see how I got this really pretty frosty blue wintry holiday look, just go ahead and keep on watching. So for primer, I am going to be going into this one. This is the Hard Candy Hydrating Primer. It's a 12 hour makeup grip. It's supposed to be a dupe for the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer and i like it guys it's really nice and it, once it starts drying down it does get like tacky you see how sticky it is all right and then for the t-zone i am going to be going into the elf poreless putty primer just to help with the pores a little bit it's very creamy i do want to try the matte version of it now she wants to get out mo you're gonna have to make your mind up Mom. Really? We're going into my L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear. This is my new bottle. So we're not going to take that much. It wasn't a full pump, so I'm going to take a little bit more. And then with my Real Technique sponge, I'm just going to press that in. Oh my god, now that wants to get out. So my skin's been doing pretty good on breakouts. The only thing is because of the masks, I've got a little pimple right here and on this side. Because of the mask, I've been getting a little bit on my chin and on my nose. So annoying. And then for concealer, I'm gonna be using this Photo Focus Concealer by Wet n Wild. I love this stuff. Now I'm going to throw on a little bit of eyeshadow primer and I'm going to do this now because this eyeshadow primer is pretty intense. So I kind of want it to set and be ready. I mirror close to me because I'm going to be doing my eyebrows. Now I am going to cheat a little bit. This is not a drugstore product but it is um, my favorite way to do my eyebrows. I did this for the first time on Thanksgiving using these two products and oh they just boil outside. So I'm gonna be cheating a little bit. This is not a drugstore product, but I do love this brow combo. This is a drugstore product and I'll talk about this in a little bit, but I'm just gonna throw on some Benefit Gimme Brow. I did get this on a sale. I believe I bought this for like 12 bucks. So definitely wait till it goes on sale. I had the little baby ones forever. So this probably will last me forever. With that, it does the majority of the work for you, so you don't have to fill in as much with another product. Now, I have not found a good drugstore dupe for this product, but I have not tried a ton of drugstore brow products. I'm kind of minimal with my brow products. I really don't need to try a ton of them, but I do like this one. And if any of you guys have any recommendations for a good tinted brow gel that isn't too wet, go ahead and let me know. Now, this product I just picked up from Ulta. This is the Milani Weekend Brow. It's supposed to be a do for the Glossier brow pen, 
um, and so I'm still kind of learning how to use this. So my mirror is super close to me. But you just draw on like little hair strokes. And you can kind of like tap them if they're a little too intense. So these are my brows with the brow pen and the brow gel. I'm just gonna go ahead and clean it up with the Next School Coverage Concealer. Are these my best brows? No, but I do feel like they're better than my usual brows. Right? They're a little bit more even, dare I say. I'm gonna be going into the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder and setting my face. And then for bronzer, I'm going to be dipping into the bronzer in the LA Girl Blush Baked Palette and bronzing my skin. I don't know what my voice is doing. Let's look here. And then for blush, I'm going to be dipping into this one right here in the same palette. I'm going to be focusing the blush a little higher. Blending it inward. And then a little bit on the nose. Because we're going for like a. Ooh, it's cold outside kind of look. Even though I live in Florida and it's not cold at all. Two days later. And then on top of that, I do want a little bit more glow besides the highlight we're going to put on. And I'm going to be going into the Milani Baked Blush in the Luminoso. And just tapping that right over the top of that. And just adds like a really pretty glow to the blush. For highlight, I'm going to be going into the Precious Petals Highlight from Wet n Wild. And just lightly dipping into this because it's intense. Not me using four limited edition palettes for this look. The only one that you cannot get anymore is this one. This is the Wet n Wild Pride Metallic Palette. And it's just a bunch of metallic shades. We are going to be dipping into this blue. But you can still get the Retro Paradise Palette by e.l.f. on the e.l.f. website and at some Targets. Surprisingly, you can still pick this Pac-Man palette up. This is a really cute Pac-Man themed palette. Um, it's available in a bundle for I believe like 12 something like $12 and some change, so I'm kind of tempted to pick up a backup because this is limited edition and you can no longer get it after it's gone. And it's really, really cute and I like it a lot, but I don't need it. I, I have this one and I maybe dipped into it twice. This might be the third time I dip into this, so I don't need a backup, but really cute. If you do like this palette, it is available still on Wet n Wild. And then this last one is the Soft and Sultry palette by Lani. Unfortunately, this format is getting phased out of their line, which I have no idea why. This is such a good palette, but it is on sale. It's still available on the Milani website. You have to go to the brand, but if you do like this, you can really use any cool tone, even like a cool tone bronzer if you have it. You can definitely use it, but we're just going to go into this for some definition, and then we're going to blend over it, so... It's not super important, but I do want to use more cool tones than warm tones for this look because we're going to be going in with some blues. Anyway, with that being said, if you're even interested in recreating this look, I just wanted to give you that information that some of these palettes are available, but they are limited edition or getting phased out. So with just a fluffy brush, I'm going to go ahead and go into the crease with a mixture of this shade right here and this shade. I'm just going to mix them. And if, ooh, that is darker than I thought. And just lightly blend that through out the crease. That is a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. And we're just going to run this through the crease just to kind of add some that, what is all, what's flying in the air? Oh my gosh. I'm going to be going into this kind of like tealish kind of blue shade in the Wet n Wild palette. Like I said, this is still available on the Wet n Wild website. So. And then putting that over that kind of contour-ish shade we put down. Third palette we're going into. 
Um, I'm gonna be using this blue shade from the Wet n Wild palette. Ooh, oh, it's so pretty. And I'm gonna be throwing that all over the lid. I'm gonna be kind of facing downwards in case I have any fallout. And then just tapping that kind of up into the crease. And that is why we laid that matte blue shade, so that kind of like transitions into that. Okay, and then just tap into the crease. Why is this one darker? I'll just throw a little bit more on that side. I really didn't want that much, but I'm gonna go over it with another blue sparkly shade. Now onto the fourth palette we're going into for this look. I'm going to be using this shade right here from the e.l.f. Retro Paradise palette in the shade Sip Sip. Then going over that, this is definitely maybe the same blue. No, I swatched them next to each other. This one's way more uh, metallic and frosty, and that's exactly what I want. Oh, I'm getting blue all over the, my under eye. I did not want that. I'm take a little bit of setting powder. Should have done this from the beginning, but I'm gonna take a little bit of loose powder and pull off that underneath. I knew it. I knew I should have done this. Did not listen to my gut. Mm. Moving on to the other eye. Oh, see, that is just adding way more sparkles, way more frostiness. Exactly what I want. I'm not trying to flake the off, but. I'm gonna go into the shade is Sea Salt with that damp brush. That B tap. And then just kind of go into the middle. I think I'm gonna go into a little bit of this shimmer shade here. And then lightly tap that over that salt shade from the e.l.f. palette and just yeah i'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of this blue shade from in here and just kind of like clean up the inside and outside of my lid and kind of intensify that blue out there like see i'm really I feel really happy with bringing the shimmery shades up into the crease. The two dark blues, I kind of feel like they look similar, but I think I'm going to go in with this one in the e.l.f. palette and wet it. And line my lines and line my lines. I'm just collecting a little bit of setting spray on here, dipping my angled brush into the setting spray and then into the dark blue shade in the e.l.f. palette. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and align with that. And then a little baby blue ring. And then I'm gonna smudge whatever is left on my brush on the lower lash line and then connect it to the wing. And then I'm gonna take for my, I guess we can take the bake off, I guess. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of sweep away the bake. I'm just taking the shade Sip Sip, this one from the Elf Retro Paradise palette and putting that on my lower lash line. Then I'm gonna be taking this matte shade from the Wet n Wild Pac-Man palette and then kind of just blending this where we put the shimmer shade. I probably should have put this one first, but it is what it is. I like it, I like it a lot. Before I go on with my mascara, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the Milani Make A Lot setting spray. I've been forgetting to do setting spray, so I'm trying to remember. I always feel like I get setting spray everywhere. I feel like my hair is soaked now. I'm gonna be going in with the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara and guys, it's getting to the end of this tube. It's drying out a little bit. 
and tell me how I like it now. I like it. I think it's nice. It's like, now that it's drying out a little bit, it's holding my curls so much better. Like on Thanksgiving when I went to go take my makeup off nine and a half hours later, my curl was like still like at where I left it. I feel like this is definitely giving like 70s vibes, like 70s makeup. But it's pretty, I like it. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with the Milani All Natural Lip Liner. And then for lipstick, I'm gonna be throwing on this Wet n Wild lipstick, and this is in the shade Close Off. Just a nice, really neutral kind of nudey shade. I think it goes with the lip liner really well. All right, guys, and that is today's look. I really love the way it came out. It definitely came out exactly the way I wanted it to. I was gonna do a black wing, but I thought a black wing would be kind of harsh for the look that I was going for. So I'm really happy I went with the darker blue, softer wing. I think it looks really nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Now that Thanksgiving is over, I am ready for like jewel tones. Like I really want to do a really pretty emerald, emerald green eye. I think that would be really pretty. I've done a couple of looks like that in the past. They're on my Instagram if you want to check them out, but like you're gonna have to scroll back because it was a while ago. I'm ready for jewel tones. I'm ready for like frosty looks like this. I'm ready for, ooh, once we get closer, I'm gonna do a glitter look. I'll be talking about different kinds of glitters, how you can incorporate them into your, um, into your makeup look and that'll be going up for new year so i'm really excited to be doing a really glitzy a little bit more complicated glitter look for new year's i just love the end of a year and the beginning of a new year i don't know there's something about it that i just love i'm excited for it makes me happy my hair does not look good though oh my god all right, and that is this video. If you want to hit the like to give it a thumbs up, go ahead and subscribe. I upload every single Friday, Saturday, sometime of the weekend. I try to do Friday. If it's not Friday, it's usually Saturday or something like that. You can go ahead and find me on Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok at Karina Sierra M-U-A. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.